We're live. Okay. It's almost midnight. Um, and this is our fourth episode. I didn't want to skip a day. I want to make sure I got it, even if I got it in late at night. So usually it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Oh, by the way, good evening and welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we're going to talk about Agile and Scrum in a very practical and tactical way. I'm keeping it down because everybody else fell asleep. And, you know, my wife and I did some teamwork, did some laundry. She fell asleep. My God, <laughs> I'm up out of the dryer. Anyway, hey, um, what we want to talk about today or this evening? I posted up a video of us. We finally got to go in the balloon ride, and it made me think about the leadership. One of the questions I asked the, the pilot of the balloon, I says. I said, are you controlling this? He's like, I really don't have any control over it. I just help it go up and down, and the wind takes it where it's going to go. And, you know, one of the things I thought about was agile leaders. Agile leaders don't try to control the team. They don't try to control that. They give them the tools to do the job. They give them the inspiration. They help guide them a little bit and help them, you know, where they need to go to get where the team wants to go but they don't control them, right? And I think a lot of leaders miss that. A lot of coaches, a lot of scrum masters miss that in what they do. You're not supposed to control the team. And one of the beautiful things, hey, good evening, Edwin, how are you? I guess it's in the morning for you. No, it's evening, it's really late for you. Um, so Edwin's texting in from uh, New Zealand there. So, what I heard while we were in the balloon, and what I felt as an agile coach, is I get the tools to the team to do what they need to do, help them get the obstacles out of the way. Like if there's a tree coming, and it's afternoon there in New Zealand, okay. And if there's a tree coming and you're in the balloon, you give it some air to go up, right? If you go too high out, you take some air out and come down for a landing and you help them get around those obstacles. When we were coming in for a landing, there was this big shrub that was, I don't know, 20, 30 feet in the air, and that basket just went wham right through it. You know, the leader helps the team get through that boundary. That's what leaders do. And I wrote in the video about enjoy the ride. You know, once the leader gets the team going, you're not controlling that team. You should be out there watching them and enjoying how they work together to achieve things they didn't get to achieve in the past, right? Working together to solve problems, to get through those humps, get through those times of toughness, right? That's what great thing about being an agile leader. You're not telling them, you do this, you do that. Here's your goal. Meet your goal. I need commitment from you. You need to do that. It's the other way around. When the team really becomes an agile team, they are supplying you with their commitment. They are supplying you with their goal. They are doing the work. They are working together. And they just ask you for help every once in a while when they get stuck. And you may foresight see stuff coming along. You can prepare for them as they go down that road. Like, like the balloon operator, right? He doesn't know where he's going to land. But he knows the area in front like different regions, different farms, different schools, different areas where he can land that balloon. He doesn't know where the balloon's going to go, but he has an idea where all these places are. So when it gets time to end the ride, when the time box is at the end, and it's time to end the ride, he knows what, where the good spots are to land. That's what an agile leader does. So I'm keeping this short, one, because it's almost midnight. I don't want to wake the family up because they're in the room and we're in this hotel room. And, uh, but I just want to share that with you from an agile leadership. Enjoy the ride. Let the team do the work. Let the team do what they do. Let the team own it. And just, and just be amazed by how much they can achieve without you telling them what to do. It's hard to do. Not a lot of people can do that. Not a lot of organizations can hack that as being an agile organization. But to be honest with you, not many organizations can. All the teams I've ever worked with in my entire life, 
the best ones are the ones I said, here's what I want to do. How do. You guys tell me how we get there, right? However you want to do it, I'm, I'll back you 100%. This is our goal, you know? And then once you get them, just be fascinated by how much they do. Anyway, you're welcome, Edwin. And just enjoy that, all right? So you all take care. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow. I'll put out more videos of the trip. I try to put some videos of the ballooning. Get some other videos of the, out in the caves and stuff like that. And the, the different ravines. And uh, you all have an awesome day. Happy scrumming evening. See you tomorrow. I'll try to get up early. Do it in the morning. <laughs> You'll see me now midnight and you see me again early. All right. Take care. Y'all have a great day and take care.